I've been working hard Trying to sing and play guitar Growing out my hair And working on my stare Paid to fake it In a traveling band And I'm working undercover for the man Sha la 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 Sha la 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 Planning midnight raids On our unsuspecting fans While the roadies rig The video surveillance van Paid to fake it In a traveling band and I'm working undercover for the man. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. <laughs> hey everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Play It Forward of Thimbleweed Park. That was Working Undercover for the Man by They Might Be Giants, which I thought is kind of appropriate for this game, you know? We're, we're working for the man, technic theoretically, playing FBI agents, and uh, also apparently working undercover, seeing as how both the FBI agents have secret uh, plans that they have not revealed. And uh, so there we go. I was experimenting with the um, uh, the chorus filter for the shalalas. I don't know how well that worked. Anyway, you should, uh, yeah, you should check out that song. They Might Be Giants, obviously. I mean, I don't have to tell you that They Might Be Giants are an awesome band. Uh, so, Thimbleweed Park. Uh, for those of you who this is your first time watching, uh, you probably want to go check out the replays. But if you don't, Thimbleweed Park is a uh, Lucas Art style adventure game um, that uh, we've been playing for the last uh, two Play It Forward sessions, which were two days ago and yesterday, because there's nobody else here at the office. So it's just me playing. Um, and, uh, we're, uh, it, it's very silly, which is quite fun. I feel like they've, uh, captured a lot of the sort of LucasArts, uh, not only humor, but also sort of meta humor, uh, quite well, which makes sense because, um, it was, uh, uh, developed or at least, um, partially developed or, or, uh, Ron Gilbert, who was um, the uh, the uh, lead of um, a lot of the early LucasArts games, uh, also worked on this one. So, makes sense that they um, thought about that. And uh, yes, as Julia Mon in the chat points out, uh, we found, uh, well, in the first session, we found that there is an option in the menu to choose toilet paper roll uh, hanging direction. And then last session, uh, we were able to test that, and it indeed works and uh, is vitally important. So I'm glad they have that. Did we find out what the option did? Yes, it, uh, the, the toilet paper roll flipped in the game. That was the only change. It's not remarked upon by the characters or anything. Uh, so, oh yeah, I thought... Um, just for fun. This isn't a Lurtech thing stream. But um, uh, before we get going, I wanted to actually, uh, I thought it would be kind of, uh, uh, you might enjoy um, one of the things that uh, obviously while the rest of the crew is gone, it gives me a chance to uh, uh, do some stuff that um, would be tricky to do otherwise when we're always streaming. And one of the things is uh, we're I'm doing a little bit of some upgrades to our uh, 
a microphone set up in Studio C. Um, if you are, uh, if you watch a lot of streams in Studio C, AFK, uh, uh, Friday Night Paper Fight, and um, Dice Friends and stuff, uh, you may notice that we sometimes have some problems with the uh, with the wireless mics uh, glitching out on us. Um, depending on where people are sitting or if they have like, the mic pack in their pocket or things like that. It's very annoying considering, you know, the room is not like Studio C is not that big. Uh, and the mics are supposed to have um, a range, you know, 100 feet or so uh, range or, or even more. Uh, and so, like, you know, the fact that they're not work the, the fact that we're getting glitches across the room uh, with direct line of sight is very frustrating. Um, also, one of the things is that uh, we only have, or we only had four wireless microphones um, because that was when we were setting up the system originally, that seemed to be all that we would need, but we've been doing more and more things with five people or, uh, you know, like um, Dice Friends where it's four players plus the DM. Uh, and so we've been doing, um, and so we'll, when, when we're doing that, we'll have four people on wireless microphones and then one person on a wired mic, uh, which works fine, but it's less than, you know, it's not ideal because there's a reason why we have everyone else on the wireless mics. It makes it a lot easier for people to move around. And if they have, you know, have to get up to go to the washroom or, um, it just means less cables around to get tangled up in things. Um, so, uh, one of the things, so we're adding, um, uh, so we added a, a fifth microphone to our system. Um, so that came in uh, a couple of days ago. So I added that to my system, but to, to the system, but uh, it turns out that that's actually more complicated than you would originally think because, uh, because of the vagaries of how wireless systems work, at least the particular wireless system we're using, which is from Shure, um, is that four microphones is sort of the maximum number of microphones of wireless microphones than you that you are uh, rec that's recommended for you to run in a one space um, without additional things. So we had to get those additional things, which is basically like a uh, rather than each microphone having its own um, uh, receiver or its own antennas uh, to receive the microphone stuff um now uh now we have one sort of antenna distribution what's called an antenna distribution box that connects to all five microphones um and the the idea there is that then the um the antennas the receivers don't interfere with you you know you don't have five different receivers all interfering with each other and also um uh aslan uh uh one, two, one, the, yeah, troubleshooting, the, the big problem with troubleshooting any of this, uh, the microphone stuff that we've run into is that it's so in, very inconsistent, you know, uh, I'll do a bunch of testing and it'll be fine. Uh, and then as soon as we actually start, you know, broadcasting or doing anything, uh, you know, it'll start glitching out. And, um, so when it's inconsistent, it's very difficult to know whether you're doing it right or not, but uh, one of the things, <laughs> uh, so one of the things that's changed now, so because we've got this new antenna distribution thing, um, we all, I also, um, we also got some different antennas. So the default, um, I'm learning all sorts of interesting things about, uh, radio, uh, radio frequency, um, stuff. So, um, the default antennas that come with, um, the wireless microphones, uh, look like this and they're what's called quarter wave antennas. Um, which I believe the idea is that the antenna is whatever the, 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 the sort of stuff inside the antenna is roughly a quarter of the, um, uh, uh, of the wavelength of the signal that it's receiving or something like that. Um, but the big disadvantage to these is one, that they're kind of small and two, uh, the, because they're uh, in order to, they're, they're sort of quarter wave, which means, um, they actually need, uh, they need to be sort of grounded. They need to be attached to 
basically a big metal and the, this little antenna needs to be attached to a big piece of metal to sort of make the other half of the antenna. Um, and so the big piece of metal is typically the front of the uh, receiver, which is made out of metal. And so you don't have a lot of mounting options for these antennas. You, know, you, want to, you basically need to mount them on the actual receiver. Um, so the new antennas that we have are these. Look, bigger antenna. And as we all know, bigger is better. These are half, this is a half wave antenna, uh, which it's bigger, which means it can, uh, it's better, does better reception. But also uh, the, the big advantage to this um, is that it doesn't need to be mounted. Um, it's got a lot more mounting options. So it doesn't need to be mounted on a big metal plate that's grounded and stuff. So what we can do is actually just, we can mount these in the best place to mount them like on top of the shelves in Studio C or something, uh, as opposed to having them fixed um, to, the, uh, um, to the microphone receivers. So all of that to say, I just thought that would be, that's kind of interesting. Um, you shouldn't actually really notice the only note the only change that you guys should notice is that uh hopefully there'll be less glitching out with the um uh uh with the microphones and uh you know the less less of myself or or heather and somebody coming over the um the control microphone and being like uh could you take the microphone out of your or the belt pack out of your pocket stuff like that So, that's the plan. Anyway, I just thought that that's one of the things that I've been working on uh, while everyone else is away. Um, the other thing is actually to do with uh, also in Studio C, but um, oh, we can maybe cover that later in um, when once it's actually all working properly. Anyway, let's. Uh, Let's get into this. Speaking of microphones, will the desk ever get one for the live studio? They keep needing to speak and we never hear them well. You mean, uh, in Studio C, there is a microphone on the desk in Studio C. Um, it's deliberately, it's a, it's a, um, the microphone on the desk in Studio C is a, a SM58 microphone, which you kind of have to, have to get right up on in order to um, uh, in order for it to be clear. That's kind of intentional um, because it means that the the control person can talk to other people or something without it uh, going out over the thing. Um, but sometimes we do uh, forget that we have to be right up on that microphone in order for you guys to hear it. So I apologize. Anyway, uh, let's get into the game. Whoosh. Still cool. All right. Now, when we last left our heroes, uh, things were really getting out of control. Uh, we... We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this uh, we had just opened up Fluoride is a conspiracy the, to brainwash your kids and now we had just opened up the whole uh, the whole map um, and uh, you can see here uh, we just opened up the whole map uh, I went to the hotel and there was a few things that were interesting there um, especially the ghost of uh, the co-founder, the brother, the ghost of the founder of um, the Pillow Tech, Pillow and Technology Company that has basically runs the town. Um, and uh, so yeah, the hotel is apparently filled with ghosts. Well, there's like four ghosts. Um, that was not the murder victim. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wonder... Right now, the ghost that I can play as can't leave the hotel um, for various reasons. But once I get to leave the hotel, if there are ghosts in this world, couldn't I just, like, yeah, go to the... Go find the ghost of the guy who got killed and be like, hey, who killed you? I feel like that would make this whole murder investigation thing a lot simpler. Anyway, I got a whole bunch of different places I can go to. I've already been, I've just been to the hotel and I went to the radio station at the end of the last session. Couldn't do a lot there. Neither of my FBI agents will climb the radio tower uh, because apparently they're both scared of heights, which is kind of a pain in the patootie. Uh, but I'm going to go check out the old circus because presumably that's where, uh, the insult clown, um, that I, uh, is one of my chief suspects lives. Also, there's some other stuff that I'm sure I want to do there. Oh, that's not horrible and creepy at all. Tickets, 25 cents. Wow. How old is this? Oh, wait. Oh, man. There's a whole bunch of... I was just about to get going here, and then I realized that there's a ton of... A uh, bunch of people I need to thank for subscribing. Pledge For 10 months. Thank you very much. Senator 69 with the 50 bits says it's a Paul. Aslan 121 for 11 months. Thank you very much. Helena D5 for 15 months. Uh, Banather for 26 months. And Yorge for Mercury. Or Yorge for HG. For two years! Says, hi Paul, how are you? Also, two years, woo! Tickets, 25 cents. Tickets, 25 cents. 1980 was this supposed to, was the I didn't quite know when the like this is this is supposed to be present day in this in the game is 1987 right and then I went to two three flashbacks but I don't know how old those flashbacks are Oh, that's, that's nice. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. <laughs> Is the noose part of the doll? It looks like a circus clown horn. Well, far be it from me Keep your on. to not honk a circus clown horn. Whatever you're selling. I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good so news pamphlets. Due to a terrible curse. Sun don't shine. Uh, Ransom. This is Ransom the Clown. Very famous insult comic clown. Except he insulted a uh, uh, old woman from the town who put a curse on him that he could never take off his makeup and he could never leave the area. And his entire career collapsed. Excuse me, Mr. Ransom. I need to ask you about the body by the bridge. Of course, if you can't leave. What's the matter, kid? Never seen a man wearing makeup before? Look, face. You better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic <laughs> wet pissing his pants on my doorstep. Uh, sorry, sir. I don't know what's come over me. Jeez, kid. What the f*** is wrong with you? Hmm. Let me start again. Jeez, kid. What the f*** is wrong with you? Something about his... Let me just... Something about his curse moment. that makes it so I can't ah, tell him this? That's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. What do you know about the body by the river? 
blood body. Earlier this evening, we found a Maybe body down Agent by Ray the would be better to be We're doing the interrogation here. You might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the tough stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? What beep you up find stuff? Out about the mansion mansion? You're gonna have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, but the town folk leave me the f alone. They. I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my next wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my creepy clown face and Paul Sean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community mm, figure. Paul Sean. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. For some reason, I find the the uh, balloon that he's holding to be one of the creepier aspects of him. If he was just a clown, it wouldn't be quite so creepy. But a clown holding a balloon for no reason. That's like he never it's like not like the balloon is part of his act. He doesn't use the balloon for anything. What do you know about it just creeps Chuck. me out. Chuck, as in Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund. Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. Yeah. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on the Tonight mm. Show. I was on my way to the top. Jesus, why not the well-known insult comment. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. Mm. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin had turned into pillows me and gone missing before we signed the contract. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, pencil neck. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Hmm. Okay, so I can't actually go in at the moment. It's a rusty old padlock. And it's locked. Because I need... I want to ransom the clown wallet to give to the... It's closed. To give to the homeless guy so I, can ha so I can have the wallet that he has and the wallet that he has has blood on it. But I don't see any wallets here. Oh, or I could just switch to Ransom now. That's weird that it didn't tell me that I can use Ransom now. Anyway, all right, cool. That's easier. My official Ransom the Clown underwear. Haven't had time to wash them yet. What is Ransom trying to do? Get everyone in town to hate me. Feed the little beeper. Get backstage at Get package at post office. Try and move makeup. Connect, collect 49 specks of dust. I hate myself. Go be yourself to find his note and are reading it. Oh no. Does he have like a secret ending? Well, done. Continually updating. Oh dear. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. Always time to do laundry later. The way the, uh, the room tilts back and forth is extremely disturbing. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? It's 
a page from my joke book. It's a page from my joke book. Come back here. Hey! Stop! What the? That's weird. Damn broken window. Find missing joke book page. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. It's a page from my joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the got the page stuck back into the joke book. It's a ransom the clown comet. Issue number one. Buy my beeping book. That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? What a f a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> All right, done that. Walked a hole. Looks like a rat hole. Interesting. Miss my housekeeper. Oh, moldy cheese. Uh oh. <laughs> Wherever there's a ha there's a microwave, there must also be a hamster. Well, Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Lil Beeper doesn't eat cheese. You think he's a rat or something? He's a hamster! I mean, that's a flagrant lie. I had hamsters when I was a it's kid. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. And they most definitely eat cheese. They love anything with, like, oil. cheese here all right i don't quite know why i did that but i'm sure it will become relevant at Meanest some point clown of 1977 and 1978 i glued him to the table so no one could steal him back when i thought they were real gold after 10 years looks like it worked looks like a rat hole hmm you have two holes investigate this further it's my old trampoline brings back memories trampoline I need to be hired to jump on it what again I can't interact with the other uh, the other trailers seems very odd so where did that oh it's us. 47 inquisitor gala gaia don't worry it's not a cat in his microwave it's just a hamster It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. Uh -huh. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping the uh, 
the mine that I pushed over is... Wait, is he... Oh no, oh. For a second there, I... Because the mime stilts are down here, eh? I was afraid that there would be like a skeletal mime at the end of the stilts. <laughs> Seems like... I can't leave the circus till I feed little dog. Seems like the kind of thing that they would do in this. Stop us raveling the other circus. Okay. There's a popcorn bag. Popcorn bag. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? The brats having more fun at this than I am. Not even half full yet. This sucks. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Rat. Almost half full. Half full now. This is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm done. This is gonna take forever. Where's the rat taking the popcorn? Can't even interact with the rat. That's what a midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. That's what a mid that's what a midway used so to I be. So I want to go that's look at your garbage dump. dump. Aha! Only 45 more specks of dust. Oh. Looks like a rat hole. That rat has like a full teleportation system going on here. Looks like a rat hole. Clearly I used my cheese too early. It's more than just put the cheese in front of the hole. It's my empty rants of the clown swear jar. It stays empty now because no one's here but me and Lil Beeper. That's not Ooh. gonna work. I never got Besides, to use. Pretty rusty and filled with rat. I never got to use the cannon in the other flashback. It's like Chekhov's cannon, you know. I feel like there's no like. Why would you have a cannon there? There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. Hasn't been used in years. I shall There's use an it. Inch thick layer of no. dust on it. Hasn't been used in years. I can't open that. What a still doesn't work. Yeah, as far as well, we know, the circus. Like, try. The circus was basically this clown in the midway. It was like two guys. Not really much of a circus. The bag's partially full of popcorn. All right, that's true. There was also a mime. From here? That's too far to jump from here. I 
There's got to be some reason behind the like tipping back and forth. It's got to be significant for some reason. That's not going to be enough for a little beeper. <laughs> he can eat that much crap in two seconds. Okay, so I'm going to need an entire bag of popcorn. Push. Push. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. Tribopoline. Yeah, I'm not going to jump on that without a spotter. Safety first. <sighs> I don't even know why. I, do we remember where the where did the piece of paper go? It just kind of flew up or so, around here somewhere, didn't it? All right. Now that I have the cheese, there's the rat. That's a See what that does. Looky, looky. Really? It's got it in his mouth. That doesn't seem to work. Rat does not seem to like the cheese. There's a big hunk of cheese here. He's putting it all under the. Wait, let me try actually going out onto the stage. I think it's all under the. Looks like a rattle. So yeah, he's clearly bringing the popcorn into that hole. All right, let's try this again. I'm just sitting here. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. There's gotta be a better way. Okay, that's working now. But as he says, there's gotta be a better way. I need to get his. I need to get the rat's stash. There's a s There's Why why do I have a s snake in a box? Jack in a box snake. Anti itch cream.
Yeah. I can't, like, use the snake in a box on something. Oh, yeah, you can't see the... Wait. Snake! It's a snake! Snake! Now we, win. now we need a badger in a box. Oh, he's done. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil Beeper. That... Oh, I'm stepping on the thing. That's interesting. I still I can't interact with them though. Oh ho! I see. I see. The old go away and come back move. I see. It's a full bag of popcorn. Done and done. So the rats are eating the cheese and then go keep going away and bringing stuff. And then eh, anyway. All right. We got enough popcorn to feed the hamster. Why? I am not it's clear how that will, like. Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy help our plan in in general. Like I know why he wants to do it, but I'm a little unclear. Little beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. I'm a little unclear as to why, how that's gonna actually help the um, the like larger murder mystery part. But you know what? Who cares? We fed a hamster. So he won't use the trampoline. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. So pull it. No. Pull trampoline. No. It just depends on which side I'm pushing. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe that's why I can get up onto this platform. And I pushed all the way over. That's as far to the left I can move it. They'll have to push it to move it to the right. You Go trampoline! On that without a spotter. Oh. Safety first! I'm spotting you. I'll watch you. Okay, he's got to find his joke book. I feel like I'm. There isn't much more he can do right now. Cause no one's here but me and Lil Beefer. The pages in the swear jar? No, I don't think so. I think that's just the uh the thing. I don't know where the page is. That's true. He said he couldn't leave until the hamster was fed. Hamster's fed, so maybe I can leave now. Aha! Yay! I thought he couldn't leave. Huh. I thought he was cursed to never be able to leave. Uh, 
want to get him a map so he can fast travel. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? So he does not have a wallet, though, or I never found a wallet. But he could go to the mail, that's true. Get package at the post office. Post office was down A Street, wasn't it? Down a street. You got any gluten-free donuts? I like the way he squeaks when he walks. You got any ransom swag? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line, because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? He's very unpopular yeah, in this town. American snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milquetoast little shit of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, <laughs> I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run! I mean, I guess I could go talk to the old woman who cursed me. But let's see what's happened here. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress <laughs> is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. Gah, postal nerd! See ya, ransom. Get package at post office. Post office boxes for rent. Two for one special. Rent a box, and we promise not to peek inside your mail. They're boxes waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Isn't he gonna ask about his box? That he needs to pick up? Got any more of those awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? No, you wouldn't get it! <laughs> that was terrible. It wasn't that bad. Ah, postal nerd. See ya, ransom. I do like the one in the foreground. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. Hmm. Get package at post office. Well, I'm at the post office. 
but I don't seem to be able to get any package. That's annoying. It's a postal scale. It says for government use only. Violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. seen my dime? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Willy sauce, trademark. Uh, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like... I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run! Okay. No way am I going in there! <sighs> She is a crazy, a vengeful witch. Buy me some kombucha. You got any ransom swag? Yeah. No way. This is a ransom the clown collectible. Hey, buy me a drink. This is too valuable just to give away for no reason. I mean, he really wanted a wallet. Huge cream. Hmm. I need to stay focused and solve this murder. All right. Well, let's see where else we can go here. There's the abandoned factory, trailhead, and the mansion. So can other people go into the circus now? Or is it now? It says no feds without a warrant. The padlock is unlocked. It's already open. It pains me greatly, but the clown's right. I can't enter private property without a warrant. Right. Well, let's go to the factory. Where's that? Electronics per pressure personnel. Wait. Let me just test something. Forty four specks of dust. Forty two. Okay, so it doesn't have to be, I don't have to give them to him. I just have to collect them in general. It's a locked gate. To do list. For close by order of safely first savings and in small print for inquiries contact safely first savings probate executor of this property hmm. it's locked hmm. is a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed All right, so nothing much to do there, right there now. Uh, well, let's look at the mansion. Dolores is supposed to be here. Maybe she has a key to the door. Ooh. Fancy. Also, speck of dust. Yoink! It's very dry firewood. No thanks. 
You think <gasps> I'm a log lady? Oh, 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 oh. It's special gas for chainsaws only. There's not much in here. Look who's got both chainsaw and chainsaw gas. All gassed up. <laughs> Better ring the doorbell. Hello? Hey, there we go. Help you. Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Oop. Bing bing. Wow, I have a lot of people. That Better ring the doorbell. I can be. I really can't talk right now. Still dealing with family issues. Maybe you can come back later. Okay then. I'll be back. Oh, cut the tree away from the sewer entrance. That's a good idea. Sure, let's try that. That's Bridge, right? Yeah. Go, go, go! Look at her go! There was a speck of dust under the clock. I couldn't get it, though. I have to switch to the Dolores in order to get it, I assume. Random dead body for no reason. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boom. Pocket chainsaw. Exposed wires that look kind of dangerous. I don't want to pick that up. Some kind of knob or valve. Looks rusty and immovable. I don't want to look too closely in case something comes out. This must be where any water drains to. Promotions from businesses that close down in town. Another I need a welded valve. I need a mushroom from in here, right? For the uh for the old lady. Uh, is this going to be like a maze? Ooh. Dust. Main Street. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. This looks like the other side of the gate I was stuck behind before. I have no desire to go back there. I can smell that it's not of interest. Okay. If we... B Street. So much there's so many ways to go I'm concerned I 
And there's so many specks of dust. It's gonna be like all 49 specks of dust, just like right here. What? The so that's just a dead end. Okay. We're eliminating places. More speck of dust. Dead end. Okay. Why have so many of these valves been welded up? Won't people think before they throw something down the drain? Because they don't want to have stuff happen with the valves. Time to pull out the graph paper. Nah, I don't think so. I'm going to use the patented Adam Savadan method of labyrinth maze solving. Wander around until something seems vaguely familiar. Okay, that was... There. So this is 8th Street. walking all the way along and then going through the whoop, going through the tunnels on the way back seems to work well yo hey a fridge dusty boxes that are probably filled with spiders a fridge in this case I'd consider labeling it as a potential floating coffin if I open the door it will just sink I can't push that. I can't pull that. What would I want to do with a fridge? If I open the door, it will just sink. How the hell can I get it out of the... Maybe it is a coffin and we can speak to a dead person. It's an interesting idea. I don't see how chainsawing it open would help. Could also be a it's red herring. Already closed. Or there could be a red herring in the fridge. There's nothing of interest inside these boxes. All right. Well, we found one thing anyway. Let's look here. Speck of dust. Looks like a dark tunnel to me. Speck of dust. Oh, putting the specks of dust in the shadow areas are nasty. Man, there's so many specks of dust in these sewers. Yoink! Here's a different looking tunnel. Here's a different looking place. Yoink! Didn't I just see this valve? Important safety measure to Traffic make sure cones. that people wandering sewers don't walk into a pile of dirt accidentally. I don't need the extra safety of a cone. There's already enough dirt on me just from walking through these sewers. I feel like this entire sewer section is just so I can get more dust. Whoa, hey, hello. This is a different place. Oh, this is what's his name's um, house. Perfect. I found the homeless guy's house. Time to steal his stuff. 
I hope this is what Madame Marina needs. I don't have a warrant for a badly tuned violin. Looks like it's lost a couple of strings. Those bags don't look very interesting. It's an ice pick. This could be the murder weapon. These bags look like an adventure game red herring. Wow. Uh, snow cookies. There you go. Snow cookies with the big brain. It's an inaccessible grate, probably leading to more boring tunnels. Useful in case Willie ever moves house. All right, so now I have the ice pick and I can fingerprint it. So let me see, use sticky tape on ice Better pick. Better dust it for fingerprints first. Okay. Use fingerprint kit on ice pick. Use sticky tape on ice pick. Okay. And then I can take put that into the machine. Also speck of dust. My nose tells me that my eyes don't want to look at that. I don't have a warrant for stinky shoes. Gotta say, it's not looking good for, uh... Not looking good for homeless guy. There's still so many places to look at, though. I think. Maybe there aren't actually more places. We may have actually... Oh, no, there's some side passages from here, I think, aren't there? Oh, yeah, the speck of dust from this area. It'd be nice if there was a little, like, dust d detector or something that would just tell you if you already have the speck of dust in an area. I gave up looking at dinosaurs when I was eight years old. Didn't everyone? My pockets are pretty big, but I don't think I could fit that skeleton in. Well. Dust. It is kind of nice that the specks of dust tell me whether I've been in an area already or not. It's actually kind of handy. All right. I think I have thoroughly explored the uh, tunnels. Excellent. Alrighty, so we got the trippy mushroom, got the fingerprints. Wait, there's something past the, I don't think there's anything past the skeleton. Uh, no, I have the blood sample. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I need the blood sample, which is on the wallet that the homeless guy has. And to get that, I need another wallet to give it to him. Alright, let's go to... Main Street. Oops.
No, I already got the speck of dust in that area. Analyzing fingerprints. This is the fingerprint report I've been waiting for. Willie T. Wino. Problem is, of course, those finger. I feel like those fingerprints, considering it was found in his, like, little, uh, lean to living area of course there's his fingerprints are going to be on it that doesn't necessarily mean he's killed the guy though of course having a blood-stained wallet of the guy i mean everything's kind of looking like willie but that's suspicious going to be all wrapped up in a nice little package. A little bit too nice, if you ask me. Oh yeah, hey. Don't leave town. The bar's out of business. Could have used a stiff one. I could give stuff to Ransom. I don't think he need... Oh, back of dust. How are we doing? 23 specs. Holy crap. The sewers had like half of the dust specs. He doesn't, uh. He doesn't need to actually have the dust to have that be checked I off on the thing. I need to stay thing. focused and solve this murder. Yeah, I haven't switched to Dolores yet, that's true. Loose change? There's all sorts of stuff that I can do. But right now, I might as well continue with her. The monkey paw knows. Now that I have trippy trippy mushrooms. I think I found your mushrooms. Sweet. <laughs> Hand it over, and we'll see what answers the void offers today. I mean, look, I have well, a mushroom that I found in the sewers. You can eat it if you want. Unless the killer was a rainbow dragon powered by starshine, I can't help you. But thanks for the shrooms. Leonard and I are going to have a blast tonight. I should have you arrested for possession. Fantastic. I'm sure my dealer will make a great witness. You win this round, witchy woman. What is this place? It's the county's primary didn't result in anything that I was hoping for. And services. You need hexes, curses, cure-alls, or curios? You come to me. Okay, I get the idea. You need voodoo, hoodoo, fortunes, or flimflams? You come to me. Enough, I get it. Jeez. You need cough drops or coffee filters? Hey, you go to the quickie, pal. Can you really hex people? I sure can, no matter what the consumer watchdog service says. Might not always come out exactly as you want, but spirits work in mysterious ways. Mysterious. So if you have stick it up with them. Did you hex that idiot clown, Ransom? I'm very proud of that curse. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Remind me never to piss mm. you off. Goodbye. I think the Karma Bad is that one that Beach cheap keeps pulling out on uh, Commodore Hustle. So what was the point of that? I gave her a mushroom and then she went and she she didn't even seem to really uh, like. Hey, buy me a drink. 
She didn't really even seem to do anything particularly any trippy. Swag. Dimbleweed Park guided tours. All right. Well, let's switch over to Dolores. Now, what happened to Dad? Practice ASCII tables. Key to factory gate. Okay, so she's the one who can open the gate. 23 more specks of dust. Oh, she's looking for dust as well. Interesting. Yoink. How come the two main agents don't care about dust? This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. I don't want to open it. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Look, the fireplace soot served me well last time. So how long has she been away? There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Oh ho. I never used the poop poopsie in the other. There's nothing inside. 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 Yoink. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Thimbleweed Park, a.k.a. Uh, extremely slow sweeping simulator. Hmm. Uh, okay, so my... My sister's in the library. I don't want to go there quite yet. So yeah, there wasn't dust in the flashback. That's interesting. Ooh, apparently, there it's my state of the art hasn't Commodore been time to get a better computer. With 41 floppy drives and a blazingly fast. 1200 baud modem so i wonder how long she's been it's my handy ascii chart never know when you'll need to decode binary messages so i always practice i love day. the typewriter it's the, the 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 no this is not a typewriter it's a printer but the printer is just robotic arms that type on a typewriter i love that it's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's a bunch of stuff it's that I... It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. This is, um, stuff that I picked up when I was in the flashback, but never actually had to use. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need... Oh, that was me practicing the ASCII tables. Okay. That's done. Kind of glad I didn't have to actually, like, do that. Whoops. Digging! Hi. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. D but then I bought it again. All neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. I, 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 I digging. Feel like Doug is having some problems. Digging, digging. All right. Just have to keep going. So we've established there's a cat in two of the whole, two of these rooms, a chicken in one. And a chicken and two of them. This is, yeah, here's. It the... feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. 
Ooh, I can actually use all this stuff now. It wouldn't let me mess with things before. Looks like an old receipt. Ooh. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Vacuum tube puller? There have been all these vacuum tubes on things and I couldn't grab them because it said they were stuck. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. Volume 1. I have started a journal to keep record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something. Something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. Yes, just as I predicted. My new Tron tube is amazing. It's giving me an idea I need to explore. Yes, this is working out better than I'd hoped. I need to make sure to start the connections are good, otherwise, uh, and I'll be able to move to the next phase. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. It's complex, but this new Tron tube turns into child's play. The first step is to automate some of the factory machines to increase pillow production by 700%. Profits will be endless. Okay, so it was first a pillow factory. I've automated most of the factory machines. Not only is production increased by 704%, but I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. Keep Mr. Rise on as security guard until the security robots are functional. Security robots are working. I've hidden programming. Ooh. The program manual in the mansion library. There's one flaw in the design I need to fix. I've added a to-do to the code. Interesting. So, because the thing was that the security guard was supposedly who killed him. I like, this is kind of like, um, you know, in, uh, in, um, like, uh, uh, Dishonored, there's, like, the whale, it's, like, whale punk or whatever, there's, like, they found out that, whatever, the whale blubber, whale oil can produce way more energy than it's supposed to in the real world, and that's the, res and the result of that is all sorts of crazy technology, or in, um, in, like, the Bioshock games, they find a new, so this is basically, like, this is, like, vacuum tube punk. It's like somehow vac in this world, vacuum tubes are way better than they actually are in the real life. This AI is better than I expected. The machines can almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. I could win a Nobel Prize with this. To keep it a secret. Too profitable to share. Franklin's good with the books, but he wishes he'd keep his ideas to himself. The Neural Tube Network amazing just installed Tron machines in the corner in sheriff's office I fired the corner oh oh my god they're all robots pillow factory in the town's Tron machines are the talk of the country Famous are flying here, and I've been neglecting my inventions in favor of too many parties at the mansion. Or is such a bright girl? I feel like if Dolores knew about, like, she was into game programming, but maybe that's because she thought that your the factory was like a boring pillow factory. If she knew about the ridiculously crazy uh, vacuum tube. Tech. Maybe she'd be more interested in it. Mr. Reyes is warning me from strange behavior from the smarter right. So Mr. Reyes is the uh, is the security guard. Wait, also, hang on. Mr. Reyes is also Reyes is also the name of the FBI guy. Is that like his dad? I don't see a problem with the AI. He was mistaken or paranoid. Dun, dun, dun. I had an interesting conversation with the main factory AI. It has some interesting ideas. Oh dear. I've become distracted. The text adventure I downloaded from BBS last night got me thinking about AI and games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. See, Dolores could have worked here. She could have done AI. She could have done games with AI. 
stuff. Say we're going. Oh yeah. 723, 721. Why did it go down? That's odd. Willie is dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. She was my girl, not his. But his watch business is no more. I'll have the AI take care of his bank account. Whoa! This text adventure is really interesting. You may, I might be able to simulate a little world in here. I don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor two and the pillows went up in a flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. And after the factory day, it's burned to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything down. The guard boys thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. They can change the time clock, so it looks like Mr. Reyes can check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will through the fall, but my eyes won't come under scrutiny. It's too valuable to shut down. It might be more than valuable. So Mr. Reyes was blamed for burning down the thing, but also blamed for killing Chuck, wasn't he? Most of the factory eyes seem to have been destroyed. Produces the most complex systems. We're hard at work simulating my text adventure world and we're unaffected. We're gonna move them to the basement. The main AI agrees with my plans to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid. So Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. That's the last see him. They have a kid. The loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under, and thankfully there are fewer parties. I can finally spend time working. These don't have dates on them. Whoa, a big jump. 1138, where do I know that number from? From that stupid space movie. Dolores can't stop quoting. Not quite, but close. I neglected my journal for a while. Dolores is growing up despite having a wimp for a father. I'm glad she's taking the electronics and computers. She might be the key to the factory's rebirth. Can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in the pillow factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Yeah, the pillow factory I'll have to deal with them. It's easy to distract with counting. I'll have them redo the books. Or some pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on a secret. I need to take her take over the factory. She'll be overjoyed. See, like, to be fair, the Chuck, obviously a big dick. Kind of an asshole. But, to be fair to him, when you are, uh, if you have a system that you're developing uh, that is capable of true AI using vacuum tubes, uh, and is that kind of a revolutionary thing, and your brother is like, let's, could we not do that and instead make stuffed animals? It becomes, uh, uh, I can understand why he would not be necessarily into that. It's perfect. Dolores seems interested in making games. It's perfect. Dolores has turned. If he'd just shown her the thing, then she would have stayed. I need to discuss was it the. The AI is my only friend. At least she's making games, there'll be hope. AI makes a lot of sense. I think I've discovered something amazing. Wow. I like that he's basically like, you know, vague tweeting in his own journal. I discovered something amazing. Like, what's the point in writing that in your journal and not following it up? I feel like if you went back to look at that in the future, 
you know, to remind yourself what was going on at that time. It would be just frustrating to yourself. Last page of the journal, need a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. Maybe if you wrote more stuff on each page. Okay. We're learning all sorts of. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. So clearly. Hmm. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Maybe because it's blinking. Boop. It's a fingerprint reader to open the safe. It only works for Uncle Chuck. Mm. There's something written on it. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Time to steal some fingers. Yeah. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a strange device with a red button. Wow. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. <laughs> Save game before pushing button. They said that nothing kills you in it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. I'll just carry around with Too me. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. I really don't think I should use this. Uh, that's not true. Um, there are, there's some very, uh, very rare cases where you can die um in the like the Indiana, Indiana Jones fate of Atlantis there are a couple places where you can die maybe I should save the game first <laughs> all right I did push it okay I'm pushing it <laughs> oh you promised, game! You promised there wouldn't be any of that. Everything's fine. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. So this is just like a bomb. I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Also, Uncle Chuck was a real player. So his bed was always well used let's just say did we get the dust in this room already i don't see any dust
under the bed frame. I can't push that. It's a spare AT-25 tube. Very rare, hard to find. What? No, this is... It's my specks of dust. That's just specks of dust. Wait. It's my specks of dust. Great out one, but I can't access that one. I already have it. I, I don't think that's a thing. I think it's just they have different colors. Well, it doesn't jiggle though I don't All right so if it's interesting if I use it short properly I can't turn off my or move my overlay can I I mean, it's not just, it's not extremely evil. It's just not accessible. I don't get it. If that's indeed what the, like if I, yeah, if I leave, it's not there. It's also not there now. That's interesting. All right, forget it. Maybe it's just a glitch. Trying to do still. Key to the factory gate. Cartel on room library. Find out what happened to Okay. I think I got the dust in my room, didn't I? Hey, digs. Yeah, I got the, the dust in my room was like right over there. Okay. Um. just needs to stay up to I I think that might have been just like a weird glitch because it's not there now and it's nowhere else either so I'm just gonna forget about it for the moment look if we find every other piece of dust except for one we'll know where it is Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Mm. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. 
the flipping Let's get part. on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone the is here. There's Where the regular the pope, and then there's the flipping I don't pope. Know. I thought he was coming Does back you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Who are you? Who's Chucky? Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Is that, Stop bothering Chucky. Is that my nephew? Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Hey, Lenny. Long time no see. Screw you, Dolores. You know I hate it when you call me that. If you just came here to piss me off, then leave. Because we both know there's not a snowball's chance you were left anything good in the will. Also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout I for like Uncle Chuck. leaving this oh, tiny Doris, town. I won't shed one tear it's for you when the will is read and the Uncle family. Chuck left everything to me. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. Ha -ha. One a powerful genes. leader, and genes. the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. That's a good point, yeah. Lenore wasn't even mentioned in the diary. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt she must be from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. Lenora must be... I feel like Lenora is probably a fair amount older than Dolores. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippant eternity. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Like, Dolores seems like she's in her early 20s. And Lenore must be at least in her, like, 30s. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, yeah. Stop bothering Peter. Uh, okay, so she wants me to call the lawyer. Uh, and, but also, there was a thing in here where he talked about putting the info in the honey, in the, honey in the library. Hidden the Puri Manual in the Mansion Library. No info on where it is, though. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. I don't need to find any books now. I mean... Alright, let's, uh... Wait. Other people... He's got the lawyer's it's card. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. I like everybody's business cards just say, look us up in the phone book. Brent Bailiwick.
It's my next lawyer's business card. Brant Bailey Brandt. JD. Legal problems? We'll screw Brant. Five seven seven zero. Hello, lawyer man. I wish to uh lawyer law law a thing. Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon eighty seven. Try me later. Huh. It's a sci fi guy, I guess. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you know what. Maybe there's more than a one lawyer developer? in this town. Oh shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. It's better for the family name. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Hmm. I do have this office key. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. I have this receipt. Oh, right. He put stuff in the basement, didn't he? When do I get down to the basement? I feel like I can't really see a fireplace in an adventure game and not suspect that it's a, you know, revolving fireplace or something. It's the kitchen. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Oh, yeah, I have the thing where I can get the receipt. I might, have, I might as well go do that now. The clock a la identical? I mean, I've tried opening the clock a couple times, and that didn't work, so. At least, apparently, it's not that. That doesn't seem to work. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about two pullers? Hmm. <laughs> I seem to remember a two-puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. That's for pulling tubes. Yes, here it is. Got this some tubes. Is a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Gonna, gonna... Thank you, Ricky. All right. So I have an extra vacuum tube, and I have a puller of four vacuum tubes. I need 
need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Ooh, look at that. Almost all done, all the stuff for there. Yeah, I wonder why these the FBI agents don't care about the dust things. Um... Well, there's still one place I haven't gone, which is the trailhead. So let's go there and see what's there. I don't know why I switched players before I did that, but yeah. Seems like a good place to have. Whoop! All right, that. What? Uh. You, you saw a guy that was like dressed as a pizza go by, right? You all saw that, right? It's a puddle full of muddy water. Chat, stop messing with me. There was a pizza man, I'm telling you. I didn't imagine him. Oh, this is bad. Oh, thimbleberries. It's a bush with red berries on it. Ouch. Whoa! Ouch. 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 The thorns on that bush are razor sharp. I hope I don't bleed out. Oh. Apparently, I uh, don't mess with the thimble berries. Feels very random. It's a bush with red berries on it. It doesn't work on that. And I got e did I just get ejected? Yeah. Hello. Pizza guy? Man, man dressed as pizza? Okay. Unlike the sewer, I feel like there's a trick to this. For one thing, there isn't a speck of dust on every one of these plot paths, which would indicate that they're just randomly generated. I need like a, I don't know, a dog or something that can track the pizza guy. Interesting. It's a puddle full of muddy water. Don't need muddy water for anything right now. What would be the office that I would have a key to? 
There are a lot of locked places. There's no path beyond this. There's no path beyond this point. Uh, better get her a fast travel thing and do all I can. At the moment, the ghost can't leave the uh, the hotel. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hmm. I have now all the maps. If I had something to mail, this might work. I do have two more people. Let's see if everybody is scared of heights. Oh yeah, we she can actually just go over to the ho over hotel. Music with this important message. The government is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It doesn't work in that. Yeah, why did, why did I go to the hotel? Let's do that. So that'd be kind of a bummer. So I'm about 50-50% sure that guy's a robot. It's a button to call the up. The elevator isn't on this floor. I can't zap people, which is annoying. Also, he doesn't have a vacuum tube coming out of his head. Try to talk to Dolores. Okay. Dolores, it's me, Dad. <gasps> Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I'm really proud of you for getting that program yeah. job. You followed Programmers are didn't let scum. You back. And I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed controversial and used take. his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and you know, didn't do anything. And I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Uh oh. Visit Chuck's tomb. Get to the penthouse. Escape to the afterlife. So to get to the penthouse, I need to get rid of the uh, I need to get rid of the ghost that's in the elevator. Dolores, how lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? 
Did you see my dad just before he disappeared? I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Yes? Please, tell me everything. Tell that me. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. Weird. Dad's nose isn't big, and you know what Dad looks like. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Red gel decoder. Vacuum tube puller. Office key. What's he trying to do again? Get the package to the post office. Get a key to the factory. He wants the key to the factory gate as well. That's interesting. Why does he want to get to the factory gate? And why can't I get a thing from the post office? I'm confused about that. And I can't, I can't let anybody else into here, even though I control both sides of the. Loose change. me greatly but the clown's right I can't enter private property without a warrant but I control the clown as well how do I get a warrant because if I had two people Wait, no feds. What about her? She's not a fed. Because if I have another person, then I can use the trampoline. This is getting complicated. Haha! -ha! That's right. Private citizen needs no warrant. She didn't get hurt by that. Okay. Hey, spotter, you're in the wrong spot. You want me to break my neck? Be careful. Okay, then. Here I go. Oh, there it is. That's where the paper is. I didn't even realize what I was trying to do. Yoink! Yay! One's a computer programmer, and one's an insult clown. They're best of friends. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. It's my joke book, in perfect condition. If you don't mind hamster crap. Awesome! Why did I want to do that? Very good. Package at the post office. Together they solve crimes. Or make crimes. Uh, what's the difference? I mean, really. Anti itch cream. Is there anybody who itches? Snake in a box. Eh, 
anyway. No, she doesn't have she doesn't think she has the key. Uh hi, Ransom. What the f do you want? Were you the killer? No way. I hardly ever even leave the circus except to pick up all my fan mail. I believe you. You're kind of a creep, but I don't think you're a killer. You! You know, I was at your fateful last performance. Well, good for you. So did I insult you? No, I was hiding behind the person in front of me. Your tough luck, <laughs> I loved insulting kids. It was so easy to make them cry. Seeing you curse scarred me for life. Oh, now you're just being dramatic. Between all those sobbing people and Madame Marina's curse, I still get nightmares. Well, how do you think I feel? That witch ruined my career and now I can't even afford to buy makeup remover. As if it would do any good. Well, I think you probably deserved it. You. I... Are you sure it was a uh, controversial opinion? I don't know if he deserved you. to have his life ruined and his face permanently trapped in makeup. Like maybe he deserved to have a certain amount of comeuppance, but I feel like this is that was a little excessive. All right. Well, let's try the Ben factory. Maybe my office key. I need to find the office of somebody who can't spell very well. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. It doesn't work in that. What's this little path out there, I wonder? This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly run. It doesn't work in that. Where is safety first savings? Uh, it's the bank, but they're closed. Wait, where'd they say they went? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so... Remember where one is. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. It says we're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. I mean, that's not true. If they're not. Curiouser and curiouser. Maybe that's the door. It's the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. Thimblecon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Time doesn't really seem to be passing all that much. Let's 
That's true. I should try pulling some vacuum tubes. It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138 size tube. That's an LFG1982. Oh, they're really hitting the THX1138 thing heavily. Oh yeah, I never actually got her to try to climb up the tower either. I better try that too. It's a TX1138 tube. Removing it would take KSUM's phone system out of service. Oh, really? Yoink! KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. <laughs> Fight the power! Also, I want to go up the radio tower. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Okay, now... The two people was annoying. Now, at this point, it's clearly a joke. Actually, now I have to check. Hey! Oh yeah, of course the clown isn't afraid of heights. He has like oh, an act. The clown to climb the ladder. <laughs> the circus freak will climb the ladder. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. This would be a little better if they hadn't already done the really, really tall ladder joke in the other Make place. Do this. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. What the hell is this? Looks complicated. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. And now, while well, she's distracted. I can... It's a turntable. Take the turntable. I can't. The turntable has been glued to the mixing board. What a big lever. This record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really like this music. We're really into gluing stuff. Mm. Oh, that switched it from playing one to the other. So when she goes back on the air, it'll play a different record. But I don't have anything to play. <sighs> Phew. What a climb. Looks like there's a time limit here. Well, let's see what happens. That would look great on my desk back at Mucus Flam. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. Everything's been glued to everything. There she is. She is okay. back. All back to normal again. Except the she doesn't seem to notice that the, nobody's calling anymore. Do I, have, I don't have anybody who has any records. Still haven't found the office key either.
double checking what stuff I have. With so many with uh, so many characters, keeping track of what their inventory all is is a little tricky. Nope, no dust here. I don't think there is another record. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. There's some sort of paperwork. Yeah. How what paperwork the would I have? Circus freak will climb the ladder. I don't have Wait anything right now. Time. It's weird that he doesn't try to stupid. I think that's a mistake in the design, in the sort of puzzle design aspect. That uh, he says, go, it's like the, the clue is go get a thing from the. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. Like the clue is to buy, is to pick up a thing at the post office. You go to the post office and there's no way to pick up a thing. What the hell is this? Looks complicated. Now I better get out of here fast. Oh no, we're, we're off the air again? That will just make a big mess. I know. That will just make a big mess. I want to do that. Like I cover the black record with black soot and so when she turns it on it fires soot everywhere. Lots of knobs and switches here. Oh, I see. That's like in the foreground. All the knobs have been glued in place. <sighs> Phew. What a climb. Why is everything glued to everything else? Pretty disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue. Or checks to pickings. Reaching an impasse here. Bus station. Is there anything at the bus station? Yeah, yeah. She goes in there. She okay. Flips it back. All back to normal again. No one is in there. And I can't even go in that door. Clown does a bottle of anti-itching cream. There's no path beyond this point. Itching hasn't really been a problem to for anyone. Need to find an office door. Interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to brainwash your kids. And now back.
Postal worker doesn't have clue, I don't think. That's true, we can call the hint line if we are really stuck. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. It doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem to be working. Odd, it seems to be missing a tube. Oh. The rest of Tron needs a tube. Wasn't there a tube up there before? Hmm. Well, that's something to do. I don't have the third thing yet, so I don't think I can actually use it yet. But I might as well go repair it. Maybe these people can actually talk now. Oh, hey, I have, I have tubes. Boop. That should fix it. Hope you're enjoying our fine weather. Hello, Agent Ray. Catch the killer yet? Not yet. Program any new murder simulators? I don't program murder simulators. I make video games. Whatever you want to call them. I thought about being a secret agent, but game design seemed more fun. That's nice. Now tell someone who cares. All right, fine. I need to go. Be a poopy head. says pillow bear the toy that can be turned into a pillow thanks a lot hey Dolores your dad made this the label says pillow bear the toy that can be turned into a pillow oh man I haven't done any subs in a long time Croco King for 56 months uh Zoechi for uh, 11 months. There's 11 months. The 0 0.9167 year. 11 months. The 0 0.9167th year. Out of space and time for 28 months. And Ramiel117. Thank you very much. I'm going to have her talk to... Uh, Talosporoxy for 30, 27 months says, can't stop here. This is Thimbleweed country. I know that this guy's got the thing I want. You got any gluten-free donuts? Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Oh, well, they're actually, what happens when you piss your uncle they're off actually friends off. They're actually friends off. They're actually job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. But you're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. I mean... What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. 
You're a sweet kid. Now, you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. How have you been? <laughs> Can't complain. Got some <laughs> new digs in the sewers with a great supply of mushrooms. You should complain. Sounds banging, I guess. Oh, it sure is. Banging means good, right? Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed County. See you, Willie. Actually, I'm gonna switch back to... I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my... Maybe I'll be like, hey... Um... I know you have a blood-covered wallet. And also, I found this ice pick at your house. I feel like we should talk about this. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? Hello again. Hand over your wallet. I'm a federal agent. I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights. Find me a high quality Ransom the Clown wallet, and it's yours. Alright, this is pretty. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had I know. no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Have you seen my dime? This seems... The Ox for 47 months. Thank you very much. I miss this place. They had a mechanical bull and everything. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? You tabloid hack. Mm. I think I left my hot plate on. Gotta run. Out of business, like every other store. Serves them right. They should have stuck with Betamax rentals. Maybe I can. Oh, this guy likes jokes. It's my joke book in perfect condition. If you don't mind hamster crap. No one's getting their hands on my joke book again. No way. This is a Ransom the Clown collectible. What can I do for you, Chuckles? You think mailmen are high-level government agents? Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position <laughs> of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. Except worse. You never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. Why are mailmen so great then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel. People wouldn't get their pizza. Empenstein. Bill. The economy would fall into chaos. People would starve. Empenstein for 22 months. My hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes incarnate. Ransom, huh? Don't you see? Oh, this guy's so passionate. You're nuts, George. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the f mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. Go! 
off, postal nerd. See you, ransom. It's a slot for mail. Not much else to see. Yeah, maybe he's got something in the in his in his trailer. Maybe there's like a something on a fridge or something that I should grab. trailer clown underpants oh it's an attempted delivery notice <sighs> okay that was friggin hard fought Like, there should have been a thing there that was, uh, like, he goes, either it shouldn't have been on the to-do list, right, and it would be something else, or if, because it was on the to-do list, it should be that he, like, goes there, and, and he's like, give me my package, and he's like, do you have the note? It's like, no, I don't have the note. Well, you better bring me the note, or something like that, right? Like, have, have a, a line of logic that you have to go through. I, I have I have opinions about adventure games. Hey George, you lazy! I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? The uh. You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. Puzzle design and adventure games is actually quite interesting. Um, and it's something that's, it's, it's tough to get right. Like it's a subtle, it's a subtle thing. And when you are the one making the adventure game, it can be very difficult. Uh, you know, when you're making puzzles, of course, you know, the answer. And so it's very difficult to some get it correct. It's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. There's a note inside. There we go. Dear Mr. Clown. We hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy barfer. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead. Okay, if I need to set a fire, now I know how. That's great. All right, now we're all just hanging out around you here. Got any gluten-free donuts? Okay, give wallet. Loose chain. Want a free wallet? Ray. It's just reminding me of how awful my life is now. It's weird that I'm controlling you like several characters change? whose goals aren't necessarily aligned. You got any ransom swag? All right, now we're. I have a new wallet for you. Now we're Can making progress. I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? If you, uh... If you want to hear me rant about, uh... Adventure game design more, then, uh, go watch my, uh, playthrough of... Uh, Space Quest... Well, the Paul Quest series in general. But in particular, the last one, Space Quest VI, which was made not by the uh, original Space Quest developers and is not good um, because of a lot of these design things that I've talked about or that, that, you know, you, that it's just uh, they, messed, they messed a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's just like, I'm doing a thing because this is an adventure game but I have no idea why. There's no reason for me to be doing this. Uh, oh, he's got a, he's got the toilet paper. So he's got to come there too. And there, you know, no clues, the clues about things. So people, you, you know, there's the thing, 
uh, Space Quest 6 did that thing where, like, you use, it's like, use thing on this, and, you, and it goes, not, it doesn't say that doesn't work. He gives, like, an answer as if that's, like, a stupid thing to even try. Like, no way. That's a, you know. And so you're like, oh, okay, that's not a thing. But if, but that is actually what you're supposed to do. You just Hello, did it in a little bit of the wrong way. Anyway, it's hard to, hard to describe, but. Here we go. Bloodtron 3000. Sounds like a video game by itself. Blood in the wall, magic the bone of the body. I feel like these were conclusions that I already had. But it's good to, you know, make sure we have everything lined up. So presumably, this is gonna finger Willy for the crime but I'm suspicious it's a little too easy yeah no oh, what have we here Reno have our big easy into Reno's too actually easy. solved the murder I'll take that Let's see what it says, Reno. Oh. Yoink. Blah, Reno, blah, Reno, oh, blah, blah Reno. Reno. Ah, Willie T. Wano. Just as I suspected, Reno. Yeah, I'll be right back. Willie, you are under arrest, Reno, for the murder of Boris Schultz. Who? Like, what? to be fair, come with me, Reno. In terms of, uh. Well, Willie, Reno, what have you got to say for yourself? I didn't do it. Oh yeah, Reno. Bloody wallet. Will break you. And also, I having the you ice pick. This case, Reno? Have at him. Do you think we should play good cop, bad cop? What else would we play? <laughs> good cop, bad cop. I feel like I'll play good cop. I feel like he's always the good. I don't think she can be good cop. I'm the good cop, and she's the bad cop. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell him that. Well, I'm not good cop, bad cop. I did it! I did it! I killed good the cop. Man by the bridge. Good cop, rad cop. To watch him die. <laughs> Anything else you want to confess to? I also kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Anything else you want to confess to? I'm D.B. Cooper, and I stole all the money. Keep going. You're digging your own grave. I'm Jack the Ripper. Blab on. You can't beat good cop, bad cop. I took the beat. We haven't even done any good copping, bad copping. I think we have enough to lock you up for life. You're going to the big house, Willie. Don't mess with the feds. Ooh. Time passed. I'm glad I caught the killer. And we can finally leave this stinkhole. Let's go home. Place. I learned a lot from working with you, Agent Ray. Yeah, I'll look you up if I'm ever at the home office in Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Uh, there is no home office in Albuquerque. No shit, Sherlock. I like how she has to take the bus. Part four. They'll be back.
Okay. We finished a part. I don't know how many parts there are, but... So they said the guy was getting ready for the... Um, uh, for the... Thimbleweed Con, which was happening later that night. So maybe time has actually passed. Let's go to the hotel. Act four. Oh, hey, yeah. Stuff has happened. Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. List Hello, dragon. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. I turned off the... Um... I've turned off the um, Welcome to Thimblecon uh, 87. The phone, so Later nobody else tonight, can call in. Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. Big prizes. Listen to KSCUM to win free Thimblecon 87 tickets. Ransom the Clown Lookalike Contest. No one else can call, but I can't call either, right? Shut up in there! Superman would totally fry Batman's ass! So let me just think, okay, actually, before I go any farther. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never going to hold my Dolores again. Mm -hmm. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in magical games. Magical book! Ooh. So we got going on here. Cosplay legal advice. Chuck is not perfect. Okay, so that's where Brant is. A new Coke vending machine. It only sells new Coke, and no one wants that. Can, can Hello? You... Blue was never my favorite color. A dime a dozen. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. I'm right here. Looks like Marvin's cousin Gary. Bottled starships. Pew, pew, pew. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. <laughs> I'm right here. Mmm, <laughs> a sexy Riker. Boo. I mean, isn't that just normal Riker? It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Probably something to do with game design. Cutting edge computer technology. I'm assuming that these names pew, mean something. Pew, pew. The developers seem nice. I don't want to muck up their precious computer. Oh, hey. Hey, Virgil. Hi, Virgil. 
Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Because the flower. So I have the stuff for that. Maybe. Except I need an altar still, I think. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. He has ghost cake? How about, it looks, you know, tasty. I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay, sorry. Thanks anyway. Please, can I have some, you know, cake? I'm not going to give Is you that... any unless you have a really good reason. How about taking pity on a, you know, poor soul? I can't waste a slice of cake for that. Flyboy Zeb! Oh, for okay. ten months. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thanks anyway. See you soon, Virgil. Secret penthouse room. Secret spell book. Uh, I was hoping one of the things on his checklist uh, was going to be get ghost cake. Uh, there's a great uh, comedy bit by um, Ransom Jerkalike Contest by uh, Apparently you can win big prizes in the Ransom Lookalike Contest. Paula, uh, the actual prizes are listed here in the fine print. Uh, Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the Ransom Lookalike Contest. It's a speck of dust. Uh, there, there's a great uh, bit by uh, Paul F. Tompkins where he's talking about going to a restaurant and having stromboli, and it was wonder and it was really really tasty. And then he goes back a little while later and asks for the stromboli, and they say, "No, sir, we don't." Uh, they say, "We no, uh, uh, we don't have the stromboli. In fact, we've never served stromboli." And so he decides that he must have. Uh, eaten a ghost stromboli that you know maybe somebody had like dropped one earlier and so then there was just the ghost of a stromboli it's turned on Ooh. Ooh. Hmm, that did something Interesting. Oh, that'll make the worst sound. Electrical discharge directly into a microphone. They're comics, D and D manuals, and a text adventure hint guide. All right, so I need to call the thing. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. Except when he, but in the last you know, few years, disowned you. he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. His office. All right. So I need to find. So I need a. I need a radio that I can turn on. And then I can go to the radio station. So I can't just be like, hi, I'm here. Uh, all right, where's the radio? 
There are lots of radios around. In fact, aren't there radios in all the hotel rooms? Oh, wait, the diner has a radio. Let's do that. Does the diner also have a phone? Pizza guy! You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. You do exist, pizza guy! Tell me your secrets! What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Dolores. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmund. You and your uncle Chuck were working on mind control Ray to remove our free will before he died. I... Yikes! That's a big yikes for me. Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! Scary. Looks like a pizza flyer. Dumbledore Pizza. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. Hey, Movietron rental. That's a weird thing to put on. And the Movietron was over by the, uh, it was over here, wasn't it? Movietron! Oh, all the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. It's a TX1138 tube, and it looks burned out. Uh, just by chance. I happen to have a thing in my doodle. Boop. It fits perfectly. I'm gonna get a movie. Ah, a I'm gonna get a. Betamax. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Damn and Blast! Saddles by Mel Brooks. Blazing Saddles? It, but not so sure about the ending. I. That's fair. The ending of Blazing Saddles is a little weird. I kind of dig it, though. Meanwhile, in the bat cave. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, right. So now that she's solved the thing, she gets to do whatever her other thing was. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here Wait. is your room key. Are you the sister of the person who was here before? <laughs> Not long now. Man. This place is filled with masters of disguise. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Must be some sort of reunion of big nose glasses people here. Point seven FM KSCUM listeners, DJ Cassie here. We interrupt. Pond burn for two months. The airways with this important announcement. 
I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. Four tickets. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. Bad news, my car needs a new alternator. Good news, I get to drive a Nissan 37Z convertible until it's fixed. I... Is that good? R for radio? Oh no, it's like K... Scum, right? K Scum Radio. 7286. You have one new message. Oh. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. Isn't that the number? Oh. Seven two eight six. What was I doing? We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Right, okay. That's fine. Also oh hey, I lost track of you. When you have control of one person versus the other person is very odd. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send a package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Man. Here's um, your package, boo. Thank you. Are Wheels within wheels. Dark Knocked for 31 months. Thank oh, you very much. This is just great. Hello, is that stranger. You, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act. That's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Hey. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touche. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Drugs. Okay. I want to be truthful to her. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. <laughs> my father was a security I can guard. ask for two reasons. How old were you? I was only five. Mom says he was always complaining about the faulty logic in the factory machines. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Unfortunately, well, there's like a three foot high fence and there's no way to get through it. I I don't actually know why she... Was I supposed to... Was there some place, some way I was supposed to be able to know what she was here for that I missed? I mean... That kind of sounded like a Japanese voice on the other end of the line. I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's mm. split up. 
It will go faster. Good idea. Ma'am, I have a package of boo for you. Boom, boom, boom. Are we the baddies? Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Okay. Yes! It's my father's watch! It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken. And only a professional will be able to fix it. Hmm. Willy. I feel like get key to the factory gate should be before get into the pillow factory. Clearly we need, yeah, we need 19 more specks of dust. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go switch back to Dolores and get the phones working at the radio station again. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. It's turned off. Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airways with this important announcement. What was the number for the we have phone? four more free ThimbleCon 87 Seven. tickets you can win. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now Seven. back to our regularly Seven, scheduled two, hostile takeover. All right, it is scum. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. <gasps> Hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four oh, ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, which volcano erupted in 1980? Wait, what? Uh, oh, that would be Mount St. Helens. That's correct. Here's Aha. your second question. That's like name the four Pac-Man ghosts. That's uh uh Pacific Northwest. Uh Inky Blinky uh Inky Blinky Pinky and Clyde. You got it right. And your final question. What was E.T.'s favorite kind of candy? Reese's pieces. You got it! Let's see how you did. You got three out of three. A perfect score. You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, uh, my name. <laughs> uh. Clearly, my name is Batman. Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. I don't think Mount St. Helens is like a geeky trivia thing. That's just a volcano that erupted Pacific Northwest. It was sort of a big deal around here. I wouldn't really call it like a geek trivia thing. Uh, hello? 
Hello, yes. Uh... I'm Batman. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful <clears throat> hotel abu in the tri Timberweed Park County area. I'm Batman. How may I be a boo of service? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gum Abu Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? <clears throat> I'm Batman. Ah, yes. Here's your name, Abu, on the list. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. <laughs> so now I can pass the tickets out to everybody except a ghost who doesn't need a ticket. It's weird. Like, it's this thing where, like, the, the characters are working together from our perspective, but from their perspective, they don't actually, I mean, except for the two agents. They're not actually working together. It's sort of odd. Um, okay, well. We are over time for uh, when this uh, when uh, this is supposed to end. So we're gonna call it there. Uh, this is the third play it forward, uh, and I don't know. I have, I have very little idea. I mean, I can tell that we we've, we've got nineteen dust specs left, so that gives us a bit of an idea of where we are in the game. Um, but other than that, I have a lot of trouble and we're on, we're on chapter five, but I don't know how many chapters there are. So I don't really have that good an idea of like where we are in the game. Um, in terms of how much progress we've made, I was expecting to finish up on Monday. Uh, but if we don't, then we don't. And we, I will uh, continue on some other time. Although we'll be back to the regular normal stream schedule, so we'll have to fit it in some other time. Maybe uh, maybe Wednesday morning or something. Anyway, we shall see. But... I keep forgetting that I put that on. Uh, but, in any case, uh, that is the stream for today. Um, now... That is uh, all the streaming that's happening today uh, from the moon base here. But this is, oh, I see. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to be back playing more of this. And then on uh, Monday evening, uh, we do have this special Dice Friends After the Flood Strand Lines. Uh, so that'll be so I'll, I'll I'll be streaming from two o'clock till five o'clock. I'll go offline and then we'll come back with the Dice Friends strand lines. That's uh, a pre-recorded bit. So I'll probably be I'll be here running the stream, and I'll probably be in chat and uh, maybe we'll do like sub welcomes at the end. Um, but it's going to be primarily a pre-recorded piece, uh, so I won't actually be like uh, on stream during that. Um, and then on Tuesday, James is going to be doing WoW Classic bonus stream, which is uh, going to be interesting because he's uh, going to have just come in from PAX that morning. So hopefully he'll be feeling up to doing that. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we are back to relatively normal stream schedules with Now Kiss. And then Bargain Quest on AFK. And then uh, you can check out the uh, loading, uh, loadingrayrun.com slash live or the events page to um, find out all the stuff that's coming up. Uh, Clench Eastwood for 55 months says, Paul is best Paul. It's a good, I like that because it works no matter who you're actually talking about. 
I choose to believe you're talking about me, though. Um, also, in terms of streams that are coming up, um, we uh, the packs, um, while the Loading Ready Runs panel itself is not going to be streamed, unfortunately, just because which uh, room it's in, uh, I believe the panelists, uh, a special live panelists, is uh, going to be going on uh, in uh, actually just about 40 minutes. Uh, and so we'll, we'll um, host that here on our channel um, so that uh, you can uh, hang out in our chat to do it if you don't want to, or you can, you know, or you can watch it in the actual PAX chat. Um, and then on Sunday, the Improv Initiative Improves Incredibly uh, is also going to be streamed. Um, I'm not going to be back here on Sunday. Um, but, uh, the, uh, uh, so we'll, we'll have, there's no other streams, but there will be, um, the, uh, PAX panel that will be, um, hosted in the evening. Uh, so check all that out in the next little while. And, uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, enjoyed the stream. And I will talk to all y'all later. Bye.